at the moment with Manchester United, just some agents talk, so they had some discussion because it's normal for a top player like Dybala and his agents to discuss with many clubs around Europe, but still no bid for Dybala. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always with you to update on the transfer market and we have many important stories coming up, Raheem Sterling, Matthijs De Ligt, an update on Frankie, De Jong and Paolo Dybala, so many things going on, let's jump into it together. And so guys, I want to start with a big news for Chelsea because it's here we go soon. It's a deal almost completed between Chelsea and Manchester City for Raheem Sterling, really important signing for Chelsea. They have an agreement on player side. Personal terms are fully agreed between Raheem Sterling, his representatives and Chelsea. Let me say that Thomas Tuchel has been really important eh, in this deal because Tuchel was pushing, Tuchel had direct conversations with Raheem Sterling uh, to explain him the project, to make him understand how important could be his role at Chelsea and so Tuchel is working on it since beginning of June. Tuchel wanted Raheem Sterling. Let me mention that the first contact between Chelsea and Sterling was right before the Champions League final. So imagine how the timing uh, was for this Raheem Sterling deal and now everything in place between Chelsea and Manchester City. They just need to complete the paperwork and then to sign everything as soon as possible to find the full agreement on every single detail on the payment terms. But they know that it's going to be 45 million pounds plus add-ons. So same fee as Gabriel Jesus to Arsenal. In this case, for Raheem Sterling to Chelsea, he's going to be one of the best paid players in the team, so it's a really huge move for Chelsea. Raheem Sterling is coming and let's see what's next. We know that they are looking for a centre-back, so Thomas Tuchel will have new centre-backs. We will see what happens with Kunde, who's always been in the list. We will see what happens with Nathan Ake, because during the conversations for Sterling, uh, Chelsea also had discussions with Manchester City for Nathan Ake, but it's important to say that they are two separated deals, and this is why at the moment Sterling is on the verge of being completed and Ake is still a negotiation. And then Matthijs De Ligt, because De Ligt is a player that is top of the list for Thomas Tuchel. Juventus um, sources say that at the moment they have still not received new proposals from Chelsea, but also from Bayern, because Bayern are in the race with Chelsea for Matthijs De Ligt. Both clubs want De Ligt. The player at the moment is waiting to understand what happens in the negotiations with Juventus, but the expectation internally at Juve is that Matthijs uh, De Ligt will leave the club this summer. And so is Chelsea-Bayern battle for the Dutch centre-back. Let's see what happens, guys, but it's going to be a really huge one uh, because Tuchel loves him, but Bayern are obsessed with De Ligt since a long time. In an interview, Mino Raiola, when he was uh, still alive months ago, and we always remember remember Mino Raiola uh, in, a, in a positive way because of what he did for many and many players and I still remember when Mino Raiola mentioned back in December of Bayern being interested in Matthijs De Ligt long time ago and so now could be the right moment for De Ligt uh, with Bayern but Chelsea are absolutely there. Chelsea are in contact with the agents of the league, and so we will see what happens in these negotiations with Juventus. Let me say that Juve are not going to accept 60 or 65 million. They want way more than this. Uh, they want an important fee for the league, not the world release clause, 120 million euros, but they want an important fee. So 60 million, 55 million, as you can read around sometimes, is not the correct fee. Formatize the league transfer. Then, uh, guys, I wanted to mention Paolo Dybala discussing of Juventus because he left the club on a free transfer. Inter have always been interested in Dybala, but they need to sell players if they want to sign Dybala because now they have Romero Lukaku and so this uh, Dybala deal depends on Edin Dzeko, on Joaquin Correa, on Alexis Sanchez to leave the club and so at the moment the situation for Dybala and Inter is in standby and let's see if Inter will decide to proceed or not. At the moment with Manchester United just some agents talk so they had some discussion because it's normal for a top player like Dybala and his agents to discuss with many clubs around Europe but still no bid for Dybala so let's see what's next because we know that free, free agents many things can happen and guys the Bala situation we keep it open but let's say that at the moment the real focus with Manchester United is to understand what they have to do with Cristiano Ronaldo because Cristiano wants to leave as we said many times here on the channel and in many many uh, videos these weeks but also Frankie de Jong 
many of you asking me of Frankie. Guys, I will release a video explaining the whole situation of Frankie de Jong in the coming days, but let me mention that the negotiation is still there. It's true that the Barcelona president, Juan Laporta, said we want to keep de Jong and he's not for sale. But in his statement, he also said unless it's not necessary, because it could happen for Barcelona that they would be forced to sell Frankie de Jong uh, in case he will not accept to reduce his salary. And at the moment, what I'm told is that Frankie loves Barcelona, Frankie wants to continue at Barcelona, so the personal terms are still the big issue of this De Jong deal, but at the same point he is not open to uh, renegotiate his contract and to reduce his salary. So at the moment the situation between Barca and De Jong is still to be resolved, it's true that he wants to stay, but he always stated this, it's not new. Frankie would love to continue at Barcelona, but at the same point Manchester United are negotiating with Barca, they have an agreement in place on the fixed fee, 65 million euros, not yet on the add-on structure, 20 million euros, and not yet with Frankie on the contract. So there is still some way to do, but the negotiation between Barca and Man United is not off, off, is still ongoing and has not collapsed. So let's see what happens on Frankie's side, the real important part of the story for Manchester United. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on these many transfer updates, Matthijs De Ligt, Frankie De Jong, Paulo Dybala, and of course, the big one, Raheem Sterling for Chelsea. Congrats to Chelsea because they're signing a really important player. Guys, let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We are more than 1 million, so this summer is going on with many surprises and important things. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you're not going to miss any single update like this video. And see you soon with Fabrizio.